So guys, what is arpet function? Arpet function is nothing but whenever you want to add special character or spaces or some string or some symbol at the right hand side of the column or string, then you have to use the arpet function. For example, as you can see on the your screen, I have written the Steven and Steven is nothing but your first name. Now I want to print the first name as like that Steven star star. Then how you can do it? You can do it with the help of arpet function so that is nothing but your arpet function now few things you need to note down about the arpet function so what is that arpet functions comes under the character function and it returns always and always character value so that is the thing which you need to note down about the arpet function and guys this is very important function in the software development we use this function uh, very often okay so this is nothing but all about the arpet function now let's have a look on the syntax of the arpet function so guys i hope you have understood the syntax of the arpet function and if still it is not clear then let's have a look on the practical then only then you will understand what exactly the arpet function and what is the syntax of the arpet function so let's go for the practical so guys just right now we have seen the theory part of the arpet function now it's time for the practice so before we go for the practice i would like to tell some assumption so what is that assumption i'm assuming that you have watched my last video on the helped function in which i have explained the helped function in detail why i'm assuming because the helped function and the arped function is similar the only difference is helped function adds the pattern or symbol at the left hand side but the arped function add the symbol or pattern at the right hand side as you can see on the your screen this is the example let me correct so this is the example in which the helped function at the this is star star at the left hand side but the arped function at the star star at the right hand side so that is the only difference between the helped and arped so guys if you haven't watched my last video then please please go and watch my last video in which i have explained the helped function in detail and i am assuming and the this video or this practical session is continuation of the my last video okay so let's begin so guys i would like to uh, show you the content on which i am going to use the helped function so this is the query i have written as you can see on the screen and this is the result of the same okay now let me switch to my editor so over here i have written the one query for the helped function so as you can see on the screen this is the query i have written now let me fire and then let's discuss the what exactly this query and what exactly the arpet function and how many parameters and all it requires okay let's discuss so over here as you can see over here i have uh, used the employee table over here in which i am retrieving the first name as a first column okay you can see over here then after that i am using the length function on the first name column so which is nothing but this one and it is giving the length as a 6 now i am using the arpet function so let's discuss the arpet function now first of all you need to take care it required the three parameter so what is the that three parameter uh, you can pass the column or string over here okay as we have discussed in the helped function now 9 is the length of the this column how big string you want to in this uh, column so that is nothing but your uh, this 9 9 can be anything okay you may be want 20 30 40 whatever you can do the hands on and practice and you can do some experiment okay guys now third parameter which is nothing but your star star is nothing but what you want to replace what you want to add at the right hand side so that is nothing but your third parameter okay instead of the star you can use the uh, percentage dollar anything anything you can use as we have discussed in the our helped function so as you can see over here it added the stars at the our right hand side now you can question that uh, how uh, this function comes to know that uh, how many parameters we need to add at the right hand side or how many parameter uh, sorry how many uh, stars we need to add at the right hand side how it will come to know so uh, 
uh, guys uh, this depends upon this formula which we have already discussed in our last session in LPET session but let me repeat very quickly so how it will come to know this num how many uh, number of star it's supposed to add so first of all it uh, checks that total length of new column which is nothing but in our case 9 so I have written over here 9 after that it checks the length of the column or string which is length of the first name uh, which is in our case 6 so 9 minus 6 is equal to 3 3 is nothing but number of replacement or number of placement placement means this is star how many star will be get placed so as you can see over here the count is over here also 3 and the star is also 3 over here so uh, this is how the arpet function uh, work so once again i would like to repeat the same exactly same as it is the lpet but the difference is only lpet adds the pattern or symbol at the left hand side but arpet adds the uh, symbol or pattern at the right hand side that's the only difference guys so you do not need to worry about that okay so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the arpet function now i would like to give one assignment same as it is the lpet function so what you need to do you need to update the first name with the one space like give one space and please let me know in the comment box what is the output of this query so you need to tell in the comment box okay so this is the assignment for you now uh, one more assignment i want to give as usual in the, our previous video so let's look on the assignment what exactly you need to do